Today I'm going to give you a complete review of the Me Academy online homeschooling program. I've reviewed Me Academy before, but it's been a while, so I figured it was time for an update. Me Academy is definitely one of the most popular choices for an online homeschooling program. So we'll look at the whole program together so you can really understand what it's all about. And for those of you with older kids, we'll also look at Mia Prep, their online homeschooling program for high school. So let's get started. Mia Academy is a complete online homeschooling program for kids in kindergarten through eighth grade. Pricing is per child, and if you pay monthly, it will cost $36 a month. They also offer yearly and lifetime membership plans. At the time of this video, they are having a sale on their yearly membership plan, but it's normally $390 per year. If you can't afford this price or if you have more than one student, you can contact them about financial aid options. I hear they're pretty responsive about that. And if you want to test out the program before you fully commit, you can get your first month for $1.99. But this is only available if you plan to continue with the monthly membership. Me Academy is essentially a secular program, but you can add Bible studies as an elective. Their core curriculum consists of math, language arts, science, and social studies. But you also have the option to add electives such as music and art, world languages, and life skills. You choose your child's courses and grade levels, and you get to customize their schedule however you want to best suit your child's needs. When you first sign up, you'll be asked to pick a grade level, but after that, you will be able to adjust everything however you want to. I chose fifth grade for this video. First, you'll be brought to this screen where you can get everything set up just how you want to. Up top, you can choose whether or not to include daily vocabulary practice and select the grade level for that if you choose to include it. Under language arts, you can see here it is set to do reading comprehension on Fridays and language skills on Mondays and Wednesdays. But we can change that however we want. You can click these three dots over here to view the course, edit dates, or remove the course. If you click View Course, you'll be able to see each and every lesson included in the course. You can also download the PDFs and answer keys here. And if there's something you want to remove, you can just uncheck it here. If you click the Settings button up here, you can mark the course as required, set the passing grade, and allow for free input questions. You can also view a course description up top here. You can remove the course altogether by clicking here. If you want to adjust the days of the week for this course, you can do that here. Just click which days of the week you want to assign. If you click Add or Remove Courses, you can change the grade level for the course. You can view the scope and sequence up here, which can help you decide the right grade level to choose. You can even choose a different grade level for reading comprehension and language skills here. They don't have to be the same level. So you can go through and do the same process for all the courses or you can just leave it with the default setup. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see the electives are not automatically set up by default. You'll have to add these if you want to include them. Just click the Add or Remove Courses button and you can choose a course you'd like to add. These are included, you don't have to pay anything extra. So you might want to add a foreign language or Bible study or whatever you'd like. If you want to add time off for vacation or holidays, you can click on the calendar up here and then click on Edit Breaks to either add in your own custom days off or adjust the holidays that are automatically included. So that's how you get started setting up the schedule for your child on Me Academy. Let me just show you a few more things you can do here on the parent dashboard. And then we'll take a look at the student section so you can see how Me Academy looks from the student's point of view. And I just want to mention here that even though we will be talking about Mia Prep later in the video, it's going to be the same setup. Pretty much everything I'm showing you here will also apply to Mia Prep. So I just wanted to make sure that you understand that before I move on. Okay, so back to the parent dashboard. If you go here to My Students, this is where you can go to cancel or make changes to your membership. You can also reward your child with some gold here, and I'll show you what that's for in a minute. Down below here where it says Learning Community, this is where you can enable or disable community features. One thing that sets Me Academy apart from other online homeschooling programs 
is that your kids can interact with other Me Academy students in several ways. And I'll show you that in a minute, but if you don't want them to be able to access those features, you can change it to no community features here. Otherwise, you can leave it as the default or change it to all community features, which gives the highest level of access. You can enable or disable competitions here, change your email preferences, enable or disable the read aloud option, enable or disable the videos page, which is kind of like a kid's version of YouTube that I'll explain more when we go to the student section. You can also update your membership or change your child's username and password. If you wanna add another student to your account, you can do that here. Up top under attendance is where you can view and print your child's attendance report. Under reports is where you can go to generate a report card. Gradebook will show you your child's grades and progress through their courses. Settings is where you can make changes to your information, update your email preferences, or change your password or email address. Up top here, you can access some tutorial videos if you don't think I've done a good enough job explaining things. You can also access the help section or switch to child login, which we're going to do now. So here is the main page that your child will see when they log on to Me Academy. This is their learning path, and it will show the work that they have assigned for that day, although this is a self-paced program, so they can always work ahead if they want to. They can also go in any order here that they want. If we click on a lesson here, you can see the basic format of all the lessons on Me Academy. It all looks something like this. There may be a PDF to print out, then there will be a short video lesson which is usually just like this, a person talking over a plain colored background with graphics mixed in to illustrate the concepts. Sometimes they change up the background, but the format is really the same on all the videos I've seen. So that is something to keep in mind because it can get a bit repetitive after a while. Then there will be a practice section and an assessment. And the other sections will not unlock until you've completed the lesson. So you can't do the practice without watching the video. The practice is usually a series of multiple choice questions that look like this. Although for the younger kids that aren't reading yet, it will be a little more simplified. And here's a quick look at what the assessment is like. It's really all going to follow this exact same format for most of the lessons. Whether it's math or reading or science, it's still the same lesson format. You can go back to your learning path at any time and do part of another lesson and then come back. Kids can skip around however they want and it will keep track for them. So that can help keep them from getting bored. If you go to all lessons up here, you can search for any lesson or you can view all the lessons for each subject you have assigned. Kids could really go in any order they want here, so I don't suggest this unless they need to go back and review a lesson they had already completed. Otherwise, it's best to just stay on the learning path. But if we scroll here through the lessons, I just want to show you that the format is going to be the same for all of these. PDF to print out, short video lesson, practice, assessment. You can see this is the same no matter which lesson we pick. Although for the younger grades, it may just be lesson and practice without the PDFs or assessments for some of the subjects. It's pretty simple to follow, but it can also be kind of repetitive at the same time. Okay, so now let me just show you what else there is to see on the student dashboard. On the left here, under your challenges, they can switch to solve to see their completed lessons. Over on the right, the winning streak is for how many days in a row they have completed at least one assigned lesson. Up top, you can see how much gold you have, and I'll explain what that's for in a minute. You can also click here to go to your profile and create a bio or update your avatar. If you scroll down, you can see some various other community-related items. On the left, you can get your friendship code to give to your friends who are on Me Academy. You can also change your password and color scheme. My World is where they can go to spend that gold that I mentioned earlier. There are virtual pets, a design studio, a clothing shop, and some games here as well. My Friends is where they can message their friends. And then Videos here is where kids can upload their own videos or watch videos created by other students. The videos all do go through moderation before kids can post them. It's kind of like YouTube, but it's just for kids on Me Academy. And you can block this feature if you want to. When my daughter was doing Me Academy, she enjoyed watching these videos and she did even upload a few of her own. It was harmless, just silly kid fun in my opinion. So I don't really think it's anything to worry about. 
I think it's a nice idea so that kids can see that there are actually lots of other kids also doing the academy just like them. Lastly, over here under community is a message board, and this is also where the student newspaper can be found. Kids can submit their own articles for the newspaper, which is a neat feature. Okay, so that's my walkthrough for you of the Me Academy program. But if you have an older child, you might be more interested in checking out Mia Prep. So I just want to take a few minutes to talk about that with you now. Mia Prep is for kids in 9th through 12th grade, and it is basically the exact same program, just with a high school curriculum. And it's a bit pricier. You'll pay $40 per student if you pay monthly, and you can check it out for your first month for $9.95. If you pay for a yearly or lifetime membership, you can save a little money. And these prices here may change as there is a sale going on right now. And if you go to their website, you might also notice that they have an online high school. So that is a little bit different. It's still the same curriculum, but it's going to include those additional features that you would expect from an online school such as accreditation and the ability to receive transcripts and a diploma from an online school. So if that's something you're looking for, that will be a bit more expensive. Currently, they are charging $318 a month, which is honestly pretty reasonable for an online school. But there are so many online schools out there and not as many online homeschooling programs. If you're looking for a really good and affordable online private school, I really like K-12 Private Academy. You can enroll there either full or part-time, so it can be a great option for homeschooling students who just want to take one or two courses. I've left that link for you in the video description if you want to check it out. But let's get back to talking about the online homeschooling program from Mia Prep. So you can see this is the parent section, and there's honestly nothing to show you here because it's all exactly the same as it was for Mia Academy. So if you skipped past that part of the video, just go back and watch it because it really is the same exact thing. So let's switch over to the student dashboard and see if it looks any different. And I'll just click around a bit, but you can see that other than the courses that are assigned, it's really all the same thing. There's nothing different that I can tell. Same lesson format with the PDF, video lessons, practice, and assessment. Although I have noticed the lessons often include more than one video. There's also the same My World feature, the same video section, although the videos seem to be different, so they may separate those out between the younger and older kids. But the setup is the same. It's all really the same thing. So if you need to see this more in depth, just go back and watch when I go through it for Me Academy. So I think that's everything that I wanted to show you today about the online homeschooling program for Me Academy and Mia Prep. But I know as a homeschooling parent, you're probably most concerned about the curriculum. I get questions and comments from families about this a lot. And I think the most common thing that I hear about the curriculum for Me Academy is that it might not be enough. You might find that your child is completing the lessons too quickly and there just doesn't seem to be enough for them to do. And I have to agree, you might find that this is not enough for your kids. I guess it really depends on the student. I think it's a great program with a lot to offer and kids really seem to like it, I think, especially because of the community features. But I do worry that some kids might not be challenged enough with this curriculum. If you do use it, make sure not to skip over any of the PDFs or work that is to be done offline. Have you tried Me Academy or Mia Prep in your homeschool? What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you have any questions on this program or just a general question on homeschooling, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching.